Hello Fruity and today's topic is backpacking. I am leaving this morning to go to the Faroe Islands with Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and I am doing backpacking style travel. So I'm not talking about the travel where you pull a suitcase behind you. I'm talking about travel where you can bring your backpack somewhere rugged. It's really more of a minimalistic style of travel and it means that you don't bring extra crap that you don't need because I find that I have been so guilty of this in the past and I know so many people who do it as well and that's you always bring way too much stuff. What if I need this? What if I might use this? So the backpacking style of travel is really just narrowing it down to the absolute essentials. And you might be surprised by what a raw foodist brings along on a backpacking trip and maybe you're even confused and you don't know how a raw foodist could go backpacking. For me, food is top priority as when I'm home. I mean, really when I'm traveling, food has to take the cake. It always goes in my bag first over anything else. So I make it my priority and I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm bringing with me for five weeks of travel. And I've really narrowed it down to the absolute basic essentials that I'm able to bring. So when I travel to the Faroe Islands, there's no guarantee that I'm going to have access to the kind of foods that I'm used to here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So my motto when I travel anywhere, no matter what I'm doing, is that I can only rely on myself. Now, it's not that I don't trust other people, it's just that nobody else really truly understands how important my food is except for me. So if I go in completely prepared, then I don't have to worry about relying on other people or other circumstances, and I know I'm always going to have the food that I need wherever I am. Going on any kind of trip or backpacking when you're eating a raw food diet or living a raw food lifestyle is completely possible, but it just takes a little extra planning, maybe a little extra inconvenience compared to what most people would be doing. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm taking with me for five weeks worth of backpacking. To start with, I have two small backpacks that I'm bringing with me. I've got this one to go on my back and then this one to go on the front. And if you couldn't tell, I've got lots of food with me. I'm going to show you guys a video of all the food I'm going to be bringing with me on this trip and everything I'm going to be eating on the airplane. Got more food up there and some supplements that I'm bringing for good reason. Then I've got my toiletries and my advice for toiletries is to wrap everything in a little plastic bag because you never know what can explode when you're on the plane with the pressure. I've got my universal power adapter. I've got some clothing there that I stuff in between all the cracks and then more clothing in these two bags. You can really roll everything up and stuff it down in there. Then I've got my Vibram Five Fingers which I bring because they're really comfortable. Then I have a grocery bag for when I'm grocery shopping all of this food right here. Another cool item that I bring is this Brita water bottle. So basically it allows you to drink water from anywhere. I'm a bit of a water snob, I have to say. I love drinking filtered water, so this is an essential for me. Some more food. I've got my computer and my electronics bags with all my camera and camera equipment. Then I've got my money pouches and passport, that sort of thing. Another item up there is my little travel tripod. It really helps if you can bring everything small and compact. So I fit all of this, I know it may seem crazy, but I fit all of it into my two backpacks. Something I really recommend is writing out a list beforehand to really narrow down exactly what you need and really only bring the things that you're going to use on your trip. I find the thing that I always have the most trouble with is clothing because I just want to bring every item of clothing that I have. Uh, but the beautiful thing is you can always wash it when you're there. So, or if you need extra clothing, you can buy some when you get to your destination. But almost every single time that I've gone traveling, I've found that you need a lot less clothing than you think you do in the beginning. A great way to pack clothing is to layer. So I've got a bunch of these little undershirts and then heavier shirts and then heavier sweaters that you can put over top of that. That way you can always layer and mix and match. So if you're wanting to go backpacking and live a raw food lifestyle at the same time, I recommend trying smaller trips. Don't just go for a five week backpacking trip right from the get go, um, cause things don't always go as planned. So try a couple days, a hike or something just to ease your way into it. And you also have to get used to carrying all that weight on your back. I'm gonna have about 35 to 40 pounds. Most of that is food. So it really does give you a workout while you're going backpacking too. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope all of the things that I'm bringing with me on my backpacking trip inspired you to go backpacking yourself. This is really an amazing way to travel and to see the world and to have a little bit more freedom while you travel as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to 40 Below Fruity and if you want more from me then head over to 40blowfruity.com, always posting blogs and recipes and tips and tricks for this lifestyle and I will see you guys next time.